Staphylococcus aureus, often called staph, is a bacterium that is commonly found on the skin and in the noses of healthy people. It lives on our skin and mucous membranes. It's usually harmless and doesn't cause any problems, but it can cause infections if it enters the body through cuts, abrasions or other breaks in the skin. These infections can range from mild, such as pimples and boils, to severe, such as bloodstream infections or pneumonia. Anyone can get a staph infection regardless of age or health status. Staph is a common cause of skin infections, including impetigo and cellulitis. It can also infect deeper tissues, leading to more serious conditions. These include infections in bones and joints, which can be particularly painful and difficult to treat. Staph infections are a serious health concern and can be life-threatening if not treated promptly. Knowing about staph and how it spreads is important for prevention and control. We can protect ourselves and others by practicing good hygiene, such as regular hand washing and keeping wounds clean and covered. This essay will discuss symptoms, treatment options, and prevention strategies to help manage and reduce the risk of staph infections. Understanding staph is the first step to staying healthy and preventing the spread of infections in our communities. Staph infections present with various symptoms, which can vary greatly depending on the type and location of the infection. The location and severity of the infection matter significantly in determining the symptoms and the necessary treatment. Common signs include redness and swelling, which are often the first indicators that something is wrong. Pain and warmth around the affected area are also common, signaling that the body is fighting off an infection. Skin infections are often the first sign of a staph infection, and they can appear almost anywhere on the body. These infections may look like pimples or boils, which can be mistaken for less serious skin issues. They can be filled with pus, making them painful and unsightly. More serious infections can cause systemic symptoms like fever and chills, indicating that the infection has spread. If you have any concerns, see a doctor immediately. Early diagnosis is key to effective treatment. Prompt treatment can prevent complications and help you recover more quickly. Don't ignore the signs of a possible staph infection. Being proactive can make a significant difference in your health. Treatment depends on the infection's severity. Your doctor will determine the best course of action. Antibiotics are commonly used. They target and kill the bacteria. Topical antibiotics are used for skin infections. Oral or intravenous antibiotics may be needed. This is for more serious infections. The duration of treatment varies. It is crucial to complete the full course of antibiotics. Even if symptoms improve, don't stop taking them. This ensures complete eradication of the bacteria. Section 4. Staying safe, preventing staph infections. Staph infections can be serious, but they are preventable with the right precautions. Preventing staph infections involves simple measures. Hand hygiene is paramount. It is the first line of defense against these infections. Wash your hands frequently with soap and water. Make sure to scrub all parts of your hands, including between your fingers and under your nails, for at least 20 seconds. Use alcohol-based hand sanitizers when soap and water are unavailable. These sanitizers can effectively kill germs on your hands. Keep wounds clean and covered. This helps prevent bacteria from entering the body. Avoid sharing personal items to reduce the risk of spreading bacteria. These include towels and razors. Sharing such items can transfer bacteria from one person to another. Practice good hygiene habits consistently. This minimizes the risk of infection. Good hygiene practices are essential in both personal and public spaces. Clean and disinfect surfaces regularly. This is crucial in preventing the spread of bacteria in your home and workplace. This is especially important in healthcare settings. Regular disinfection can prevent the spread of infections among patients and staff. By following these steps, we can reduce the spread of staff. Community awareness and education are key to preventing infections. Section 5. A shared responsibility, your health, your actions. Staph infections are a public health concern. We all have a role to play in prevention. By understanding the risks, we can protect ourselves. If you are at higher risk, take extra precautions. This includes people with weakened immune systems. Talk to your doctor about preventive measures. Remember, prevention is always better than cure. By working together, we can minimize the impact of staph infections. Section 6, the last word, understanding, is key. 
Staphylococcus aureus is a common bacterium. It can cause a range of infections. Understanding the symptoms, treatment and prevention is crucial. Early detection and treatment are vital. We can prevent complications by seeking timely medical attention. By following simple hygiene practices, we can reduce the spread of stuff. Remember, knowledge is power. Equip yourself with information. This empowers you to make informed decisions about your health. Let's work together to combat staff infections.